The Australian Cattle Dog, ACD, or simply Cattle Dog, is a breed of herding dog originally developed in Australia for droving cattle over long distances across rough terrain. This breed is a medium-sized, short-coated dog that occurs in two main color forms. It has either brown or black hair distributed fairly evenly through a white coat, which gives the appearance of a red or blue dog. As with dogs from other working breeds, the Australian Cattle Dog is energetic and intelligent with an independent streak. It responds well to structured training, particularly if it is interesting and challenging. It was originally bred to herd by biting and is known to nip running children. It forms a strong attachment to its owners and can be protective of them and their possessions. It is easy to groom and maintain, requiring little more than brushing during the shedding period. The most common health problems are deafness and progressive blindness, both hereditary conditions and accidental injury. Otherwise, it is a robust breed with a lifespan of 12 to 14 years. In the 19th century, New South Wales cattle farmer Thomas Hall crossed the dogs used by drovers in his parents' home county, Northumberland, with dingoes he had tamed. The resulting dogs were known as Hall's healers. After Hall's death in 1870, the dogs became available beyond the Hall family and their associates. They were subsequently developed into two modern breeds, the Australian Cattle Dog and the Australian Stumpy Tail Cattle Dog. Robert Koleski, who wrote the first standard for the breed, was influential in its development. Australian Cattle Dog has been nicknamed a red healer or blue healer on the basis of its coloring and practice of moving reluctant cattle by nipping at their heels. Dogs from a line bred in Queensland, Australia, which were successful at shows and at stud in the 1940s, were called Queensland Healers to differentiate them from lines bred in New South Wales. This nickname is now occasionally applied to any Australian cattle dog. Appearance The Australian cattle dog is a sturdy, muscular, compact dog that gives the impression of agility and strength. It has a broad skull that flattens to a definite stop between the eyes, with muscular cheeks and a medium length, deep, powerful muzzle. The ears are pricked, small to medium in size and set wide apart, with a covering of hair on the inside. The eyes are oval and dark, with an alert, keen expression. The neck and shoulders are strong and muscular, the forelegs are straight and parallel, and the feet round and arched, with small, sturdy toes and nails. The Australian cattle dog breed standard states that it should have well-conditioned muscles, even when bred for companion or show purposes, and that its appearance should be symmetrical and balanced, with no individual part of the dog exaggerated. It should not look either delicate or cumbersome, as either characteristic limits the agility and endurance that is necessary for a working dog. Size The female Australian cattle dog measures approximately 43-48 cm, 17-19 in, at the withers, and the male measures about 46-51 cm, 18-20 in, at the withers. The dog should be longer than tall, that is, the length of the body from breastbone to buttocks is greater than the height at the withers, in a ratio of 10 to 9. An Australian cattle dog in good condition weighs around 18-25 kg, 40-55 pounds. Coat and color. There are two accepted coat colors, red and blue. Chocolate and cream are considered to be false. Blue dogs can be blue, blue mottled, or blue speckled with tan on the legs and chest, and white markings and a black patch or mask on one or both sides of the head. Red dogs are evenly speckled with solid red markings, and similarly to the blue dogs can have a brown, red, patch mask on one or both sides of the head and sometimes on the body. Both red dogs and blue dogs are born white, except for any solid colored body or face markings, and the red or black hairs show from around four weeks of age as they grow and mature. The distinctive adult coloration is the result of black or red hairs closely interspersed through a predominantly white coat. This is not merle coloration, a speckled effect that has associated health issues, but rather the result of the ticking gene. A number of breeds show ticking, which is the presence of color through wide areas, though the overall effect depends on other genes that will modify the size, shape and density of the ticking. In addition to the primary coloration, an Australian cattle dog displays some patches of solid or near-solid color. In both red and blue dogs, the most common are masks over one or both eyes, a white tip to the tail, a solid spot at the base of the tail, and sometimes solid spots on the body, though these are not desirable in dogs bred for confirmation shows. Blue dogs can have tan midway up the legs and extending up the front to breast and throat, with tan on jaws and tan eyebrows. Both color forms can have a white star on the forehead, called the Bentley Mark, after a legendary dog owned by Tom Bentley. Common miscolors in the Australian cattle dog are black hairs in a red-coated dog, including the extreme of a black saddle on a red dog, and extensive tan on the face and body on a blue dog, called creeping tan. The Australian cattle dog has a double coat, the short, straight outer guard hairs are protective in nature, keeping the elements from the dog's skin, while the undercoat is short, fine and dense. 
The mask consists of a black patch over one or both eyes, for the blue coat color, or a red patch over one or both eyes, for the red coat color. Depending on whether one or both eyes have a patch, these are called, respectively, single, or half, mask and double, or full, mask. Dogs without a mask, are called plain-faced. Any of these are acceptable according to the breed standard. In confirmation shows, even markings are preferred over uneven markings. Tail. The breed standards of the Australian, American, and Canadian Kennel Club specify that the Australian cattle dog should have a natural, long, undocked tail. There will often be a solid color spot at the base of the tail and a white tip. The tail should be set moderately low, following the slope of the back. It should hang in a slight curve at rest, though an excited dog may carry its tail higher. The tail should feature a reasonable level of brush. In the United States, tails are sometimes docked on working stock. The tail is not docked in Australia and serves a useful purpose in increasing agility and the ability to turn quickly. The Australian cattle dog is a breed distinct from the Australian stumpy tail cattle dog, a square-bodied dog born with a naturally bobbed tail. The stumpy tail resembles the Australian cattle dog but has a taller, leaner conformation. It occasionally has a natural long thin tail, but most are born without tails. Temperament. Like many working dogs, the Australian cattle dog has high energy levels, an active mind, and a level of independence. The breed ranks 10th in Stanley Corin's The Intelligence of Dogs, rated as one of the most intelligent dogs ranked by obedience command trainability. The cattle dog needs plenty of exercise, companionship and a job to do, so a non-working dog might participate in dog sports, learning tricks, or other activities that engage its body and mind. When on home ground, the Australian cattle dog is an affectionate and playful pet. However, it is reserved with people it does not know and naturally cautious in new situations. Its attitude to strangers makes it an excellent guard dog when trained for this task and it can be